just a little bit of review here. When you bring in your sprites, don't forget to click on them like I did and um, add sprite to the UI, hit the uh, apply button. And now we'll head over to the canvas UI. And let's right click on the canvas and add an image. But uh, bring your own image in through Sprite, click and drag it in. We're not gonna use Raycast in this particular image, so turn that off. It's simple. Set native size, and you can see it's quite large. So we can resize it in Photoshop or scale it down a little bit. And we'll just scale it down a little bit for right now. That works fine. Head over to the image. Um, and make sure you change the name to something you like and you won't forget. Try to use a good naming convention. It can get um, kind of messy sometimes if, uh, you're, not if you're inconsistent. Um, also, a quick tip here is I like to do Command D, so duplicate pretty much anything I work with and then you have it set as a template. It's going to be set exactly as the image or object that you just duplicated. And then in this instance here, you can just rename the uh, object and swap a sprite, throw a sprite in there. And um, I find that a really speed up your workflow and it keeps everything very consistent, which is very important in this environment. So here I just duplicated the image again, hit native size, ultimate game, and just um, Finding somewhere looks pretty good for it. I had it roughly laid out in Adobe Illustrator, and it looks pretty much the same as it does in Illustrator. So, do that again, and um, take a quick test run, and it looks pretty good. Now, let's just make a quick click to play button. Alt drag one of your words, change the text to however you like. I used click to play. Here I was just experimenting with what I thought would look the best. Pretty much better than any AAA game, obviously. Um, so went through, just kind of gave a little bit of perfectness. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Sent it to the back. I like it. It looks better than any game I've seen. Change the color to whatever you like. And that looks pretty good. Bring it over to Photoshop. Copy paste. Save it. PSD. Save it PNG. And if you save the PNG in your Unity Sprites folder directly from Photoshop, when you bring up uh, Unity again, it'll uh, show up magically. And those are all the awesome graphics. Much better than any PlayStation 4 game I've ever seen. Or Xbox. Or Atari 2600. Right click on Canvas, let's add a button. Uh, we're gonna add our sprite. Be sure you're actually using the sprite, not the uh, parent object like Ding Dong is right here. Can't figure it out. The, uh, oh, yes. Clever. So we changed that. Now we gotta click the play button. Change the button, call it button, click the play, or whatever you want. A lot of people put um, button, click the play, scale it, however you like it. Move it around, look at it. Up top, there you go. And you want the drippy part a little bit on the Y. We don't need any text in this button. We already have text to so delete it. You can even delete the text. We'll add function to the button later. Here we're just adding a highlight color. Test it out. So when you mouse over the button, it'll change color. Ooh. 
so easy. And I remember doing that flash back in the day. No. It didn't even round anymore. It's pretty good. Now I'll add a pressed color. Season to taste. I wanted to um, copy and paste the color I picked for the highlight color and then paste into the press color and then you can kind of make it darker or lighter based on the color you previously had. It's fun to click the button. UI scale mode, we're going to change that to match with our height so that the UI will scale with the screen, which is good for mobile devices, etc. And here we're going to add one more little touch. We're going to add a UI panel. And what this will do, this automatically scales with the screen size as well. We're going to make panel BG. Turn alpha up, and one thing we want to put it on top <clears throat> in the canvas flare order, which is actually underneath everything. Kind of the opposite of Photoshop, which Unity did that for fun. Pick the color you like, experiment around, take a look at it. Pretty good for now. It's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. Change it to white. Simple. Remove the background to none. And now that's much better. That's perfect. Thank you.